we would want the longest dimensions of the airplane to be parallel to the electric field of the EMP. The way we've positioned the airplane in the transmission line so far has the electric field of the, t of the TEM wave per vertical and parallel to the smallest dimensions of the airplane. So if this is the airplane with the wings <laughs> and the wheels, that's what we've had so far. So instead, what we need to do is rotate either the transmission line, so we had the two plates of the transmission line on above and below it. Um, and we need to either rotate the transmission line or the airplane in our measurement setup. Now considering gravity, we can imagine it's easiest to keep our airplane horizontal to the ground. And so keeping the airplane horizontal, what we can do is rotate our transmission line, which is shown here. So now we have, if I do a front view, uh, our plates of the transmission line are vertical and our airplane is inside horizontal, which means of course then we have the ground here, but the electric field now is parallel to the longest dimensions of the airplane. Take out your in-class project notebook and make a note about the best orientation of the airplane relative, the or relative to the orientation of the electric field of the plane wave in the transmission line. Include a diagram of the new setup. Uh, an image of a handwritten diagram is fine.